the war protest on campus. Thank you for joining us for the KTLA 5 News at noon. I'm Lou Parker. And I'm Samantha Cortese in today for Glenn Walker. Hundreds of faculty members and UCLA staff are calling for Chancellor Jean Block to resign immediately. They are planning an emergency meeting today. KTLA 5's Kimberly Chang is live in Westwood with the very latest. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, UCLA's Academic Senate scheduled that meeting for 2 o'clock this afternoon, and they'll vote on two resolutions involving the chancellor. But the university administration has continued to disregard our students' safety and their right to express their views. The students made easy targets for police who shot them with stun grenades, chemical agents, and rubber bullets. On April 30th, President Drake and Chancellor Block labeled the encampment unauthorized. These statements indirectly encouraged the assaults against the encampment that were launched that night. Criticism of university leadership continues. Ahead of today's meeting, faculty and staff held a rally and presented a petition with more than 800 signatures on Thursday calling for the Chancellor Jean Block to resign immediately. The online petition also called for full amnesty and legal charges to be dropped for those involved with the encampment and protests. There were more than 200 related arrests. Now, many expressed disapproval in decisions made related to recent pro-Palestine protests and encampment encampment that was set up on campus, attacks that followed, and the dismantling of the camp during a police raid. The UCLA Academic Senate, which represents campus faculty, said the purpose of today's meeting is to vote on a resolution of no confidence in Chancellor Jean Block and a resolution to censure Chancellor Block, which essentially is a formal disapproval. Following the attack on April 30th, the chancellor announced that a new chief safety officer would lead a law enforcement investigation to identify the perpetrators, but many criticized Block for failing to ensure the safety of students during the protests and say he mishandled the events and response. Today's meeting will be open to academic Senate members and student representative representative observers. Meanwhile, campus operations remain limited this week with all classes being held remotely. The chancellor of this university has clearly lost the confidence, not just of the academic faculty, but of the students, the parents, the whole community. Yes, he needs to go. He has failed to stand up for the hardworking majority and the students who should be here on campus at UCLA getting ready for one of the most important moments of their lives, their commencement, their graduation, it's been shut down. The campus is closed, classes aren't happening. Why? Because the leadership of the university So because classes are being held remotely, the campus is relatively quiet right now. The Legislative Assembly is planning to hold that meeting uh, via Zoom starting at 2 o'clock. Reporting live in Westwood, Kimberly Chang, KTLA 5 News. Kimberly, thank you. And over at USC, the valedictorian there, whose graduation speech was canceled, was recognized yesterday. Asna Tabasum. Asna will graduate with a Bachelor of Science in Biomedical Engineering, Molecular and Cellular Engineering, and a minor in Resistance to Genocide. Asna Tabasum received a standing ovation at the university's Student Recognition Awards. She was supposed to give her commencement address today at USC's main ceremony, but it was canceled. USC cited security concerns after her social media pages were found with links to pro-Palestinian sites. She was accused by some Jewish groups of being anti-Semitic for sharing and linking anti-Israel views. She denies those claims. This morning, she shared part of the speech she had hoped to give with USC's Daily Trojan, but the middle of the speech is blacked out after the words, I am filled with gratitude to have the privilege of, and she ends with, congratulations, class of 2024. Despite recent scandals, L.A. City Council members Curran Price and Kevin DeLeon have once again been seated on council committees. Council President Paul Krikorian reinstated both Price and DeLeon on Wednesday. Krikorian has sole discretion on committee seats and did not give a reason for that move. Price is facing criminal charges stemming from the allegations he took money from real estate developers in exchange for votes. DeLeon was recorded in a conversation containing racist remarks that became public in 2022.
Well, you will have plenty of opportunities to get flowers or a gift from mom on Mother's Day.